Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about what to wear to visit England for a weekend and what to pack if you want to come to England and what to wear if you're going away on a staycation in England. For the whole weekend I wore these. Look, filthy, filthy. In fact, let me just go and clean them then I'll come back and talk to you about them. That's better. My blacks are black and my whites are white. Now I can talk about them. So, for the whole weekend, I wore these Skechers. I have had them years. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. But I also feel that they are suitable for wearing out to a pub or wearing to a bar for an evening. Not a restaurant, not really. Well, actually, no, I did. I did wear them to an Indian restaurant as well because they're fashionable. You know, black and white trainers are really fashionable at the moment, so you can really wear these. And they're comfortable for walking. We did about 26,000 or more steps, 30,000 steps. We did a lot of walking. I'll look at my phone and tell you in a minute. Anyway, I've just cleaned these. What do I use? I use this. Now, for my UK followers, this is in my Amazon store, in household. But brilliant, brilliant for cleaning your, the whites and cleaning the blacks. The whites, all you have to do is just that, just the whites, you know, just go along there. They come up like new. Brilliant, these things. So yes, and for US followers, I'll find you some links to these as well. Wonderful things. Right, let's get on with what I wore. So for most of the weekend, I wore light indigo straight jeans. These are kind of an ankle grazer, really, just above the ankle. I felt really comfortable in these. They're modern, although several years old, but these are actually mo a modern cut and not baggy and unflattering like a mum jean, but not tight and skinny. So it's more, you know, they're, they're, they're more current. And these pretty well went with everything I wore. So it's a matter of changing up the top part. I did wear white jeans as well. I wore a pair of white jeans out to, uh, to a restaurant in the evening. So when they first arrived, our visitors first arrived, I wore my indigo jeans and I put on, not in front of them, I already had it on, but I put on an ivory sweater. This is by a brand called Yaya, Yaya Women, I think it's Danish. Anyway, love this sweater. It's great for the, it's a light knit, so it's great for the summertime. It went very well with this and I just put a gold necklace with it. Then, as you can see from the picture, I also used this neutral coloured belt. It's worth mentioning that I actually kept this belt on the jeans the whole time. I wore this belt the whole time. This is so old as well. Goodness, I couldn't even tell you the brand to be honest. Natalie C. Don't even know if they exist anymore. I'm sure I bought this 15 to 20 years ago. Leather and it's just lasted and lasted. But in the summer, I do like a light leather belt light tone. So this is nice, nice whitish, beigeish, ivory really, I suppose you call it ivory uh, leather belt. And I think if you haven't got one, you should get one. I think they're very, very useful for the summer. This one's got a gold toned buckle, which is why I ended up wearing generally gold toned necklaces. But for the evening, that evening, that first evening, we went out for a drink. Had a lovely time. We actually had, um, do you know what? This is just a little bit of a sidetrack, but sometimes you go to your own regular bar. Sometimes you need a visitor to introduce you to new things there, because I actually drank stout and I don't ever go there and drink stout. And we also had bread and dips and then we never do that. When I go there, I would have wine and maybe finish off with a rum, have coffee. Never thought of having a stout there. It was, you just need to be introduced. It's weird how you sometimes just have to be introduced to your own area by visitors, don't you? Anyway, I've just got a bit sidetracked there, but for the evening, I wore this jacket. Now, my problem was that this faux, faux suede moto is grey, but it's got silver toned hardware. So I then added a silver necklace as well as the gold one to bring together the gold tone of the belt, then the silver tone of the metal here by combining the metals around my neck. And I'll do that sometimes on my wrist as well. For instance, here, use different tones of metals so as the rest of the tones of metals, buckles on bags and belts, and then a different one on a jacket or a coat actually work. There's a, a little tip for you. So that was what I wore in the, for the first day. Ivory sweater, gold and silver necklaces, light indigo jeans, my trainers, and the motor. The next 
today we went out on a steam train and there will be a vlog there will be a vlog so you can see this but we didn't know what the weather was going to do and it was going to rain we thought knew it was going to rain at some point it was going to rain it was not warm we were in the a 19c temperature really so i wore the lightweight indigo jeans i wore rainbow t-shirt love this t-shirt betty bramble if you're interested they still got them and over the top for warmth i wore camo jacket again this belt and again the black sneakers very comfortable and in the back of the car i did have a raincoat but actually didn't need it in the morning but that's what i wore for the train trip well you know the outing on the steam train so attractive clothes i would say that is very suitable for the natural style personality now then for that my bag for those two outfits was this black one called a gathered style apparently i have just discovered that i used to call it a boat style or a banana bag but anyway it's called a gathered style so if i could find some of these i will like anything else i can find similar i will link down below but anyway yes a black gathered bag i used for those two previous outfits then in the evening in the evening we went out for a curry and i wore white jeans i wore this blouse that i bought on holiday years ago from tenerife a natural natural blue color you know blue of blue of sky blue of water and uh, it's got a bit of a frill on it attractive sleeves here with this slight slight frill on the sleeve here short sleeved and very very suitable with white jeans for the summer in a temperate climate when it's not too hot to wear out now we walked over it was a half hour walk half hour back it had been raining so the ground was wet so it was the black trainers again as i said the bag i used this time was actually a navy bag this bag i was given years ago by lotus clothing in the uk for my blog but it was gifted many many years ago but i have just used it so much and if you haven't got a navy bag you should get a navy bag because like an ivory belt a navy bag is just so useful so that was the evening and i wore a raincoat over the top i didn't put a jacket on because i knew in the restaurant i was going to be it was going to be warm so i didn't need to sit there with a jacket over the top as part of the outfit i needed something waterproof to protect me as i went over there so it was a raincoat and it was actually one with a slight lining in to keep me warm so i i used a padded raincoat over the top of this which you won't see because you don't need to see because that was just a raincoat then on the last day so sunday we did a little bit of walking around in our local area out in the country wellington boots and jeans and i was a little bit outrageous because if you noticed here i'm using items from my august capsule i am being good i have done that i decided to bring out the slightly boho in me and i wore a t-shirt that i had carried forward from july in my capsule into august this one from loft with uh, with flowers on it now the reason this t-shirt appeals to me and why I bought it is not because of the flowers, it's because of the colours. The colours are very much suitable for a natural style personality. So it's the colours that drew me to this t-shirt, not the, sorry. So yes, it was the colours that drew me to this t-shirt, not the, not the pattern. Anyway, love the t-shirt, but I was, a, as I said, I, I, I really brought out the boho because okay, this t-shirt and white jeans, you'd say that's natural yeah the boho side of it is bringing out this to wear with it this was in my august capsule well it is in my august capsule and many of you have loved this when i showed you but i haven't worn it really yet and normally i would wear this the way i envisioned wearing this would be with a black t-shirt underneath it or a white t-shirt underneath it maybe navy but mostly black and white you know and then this is the this is the interest piece 
But I actually ended up wearing it with this t-shirt. So I ended up with two interest pieces together. Not my normal natural look, certainly not a look for a British field with cows, but the cows weren't bothered. So I actually put it on Instagram and got so many compliments, which surprised me. It's not my normal style on Instagram, but this combination did get many compliments and people wanting to know where I got the jacket and saying that the color, the combination was wonderful. So um, there you go anyway. So that's what I wore on the last day, slightly stretching, even me stretching myself by actually having the, the color and pattern of the t-shirt with, with such a, a vibrant jacket. But people liked it. So that, that is what I wore for a weekend. And hopefully that's given you some ideas and I'll see you all in another outfit.